It's like a big John Deere party and we're all invited. Let's go. Hey, uh, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to an early mod look and showcase featuring three mods that we've got in front of you right here. These are the John Deere 466 round baler on your right. That is by LR Modding and JA Modding. In the middle, we have the John Deere 200 seedbed finisher. This is by Farm Central Soul. And on the left-hand side, we have an update to the John Deere 2410 plow by JA Modding. All of these have some really cool features and offer something unique. Each one of them offers something unique that we've never seen before. So you know what? We're gonna take a look at all of them today. First up, let's take a look at the John Deere 466 round baler. This is a great machine for you to make round hay bales or straw bales, grass bales, whatever you want on your farm with a big capacity. It's a capacity of 7,500 liters. Absolutely insane. We're gonna try ramping those as well. You will need 70 horsepower to power this. You may be saying to yourself, is that a, like a little bit? You're right, that is a little bit. It's gonna cost you $30,000 and has a speed limit of 13 kilometers per hour or eight miles per hour. So let's jump in the store and check it out. You're gonna find this piece of equipment in baling technology and you're gonna find it with the other John Deere stuff. Again, 466, 7,500 liter round bales, 70 horsepower at eight miles per hour, $30,000. There is no customization for this piece of equipment. So unfortunately what you see is what you get, but you get a whole lot. As you can see, great detail has been paid to this. This is by JA Modding and LR Modding, some Brazilian modders great at what they do. Yo, let's jump in and let's check this thing out in action. Here we are. We have the JA Modding John Deere 5090E or so 5075E and the 466 baler on the back. Nothing crazy. Nothing fancy going on here. Let's check it out. Let's drop it down. Oh, yeah. Let's turn it on. That was a little bit weird. Turn it on, turn it off. Interesting. I do have some mods installed that may have caused that. So let's not worry too much about that right now. As we go along again, eight miles per hour max working speed. So that is something to keep in mind. You're not gonna be going super fast. However, you're not gonna have to stop very much either. Now, can we use this with other mods that we have installed on PC to go super fast? Yes, absolutely we can, but we're not gonna be using those today. We know they will work. So all we have to do is pick up the bales. Now we would have already made uh, what a one and a quarter bales already at this point. It holds almost as much as two normal bales combined. The question would be, once we're all said and done, which we should be about right here, should stop, there we go. Unloads the bale, drops it out, goes back, and we continue. So, we see our animation, we see how it picks it up, we see that we have a grass bale down. Question would be, can we wrap that bale? Here we go, let's see, can we wrap this bale? It looks like a normal bale, and it looks like we're gonna be able to wrap this. Why is this possible? How is this possible, DJ? Well, it's because they've taken a normal size bale and just change the capacity of it. So it's not a larger bell, it's not a smaller bell, it's not a different bell even. This is using the same technology and the same idea that I use whenever I change the capacity of bells. Now we have a 7,500 liter silage bell. Just like over here, we have a 7,500 liter grass bell. These bells are technically the same shape and size of normal bells that we have in game, although they are much much larger in capacity more dense if you want to put it that way but at the end of the day it's the same thing it's just a different capacity same as you know all the other stuff how cool is that that is pretty darn neat again this is the john deere 466 this will be available soon for all platforms to download uh, my understanding is currently with giants awaiting testing as you know giants will return on monday january the 11th to test mods again by LR Modding and JA Modding. The next mod that we're gonna take a look at today is the John Deere 200 Seedbed Finisher Cultivator. This is by Farm Citrusol, as used to cultivate and smooth your land with a maximum quality and also offer great yield. Now, those are all great, but we know in Farm Sim, well, there's only a couple different ways to alter yield and growth, that kind of thing. 
This is neat because power requ or, uh, power requirement, 78 horsepower, so just as much as the Baylor. It's also gonna cost you 18,500, making it cheaper working width of 12.6 meters, so it has a nice working width. However, this has one special feature. Well, there's a couple special features, but it has one outstanding special feature. Let's check it out in the shop and I'll show it to you. The party piece of the 200 seed bed finisher is the fact that it has a 21 mile per hour max working speed. Now, when I first read that, I said, oh, they accidentally messed the one and the two up. It's supposed to be 12 miles per hour. No, not at all. This is a fast machine. This is a cultivator. At the end of the day, in game, it cultivates. This is also used, supposed to be used, behind our plow. But the really cool thing is it goes way too fast and it makes it so awesome. So if we jump out of here, I have a nice tractor right here prepared for us. This is just the in game John Deere 6R. I have it upgraded to the max amount of horsepower. So we have 300 horsepower in here. Let's hook up, grab that, let's unfold. Has a quick animation, just like so. You don't have to turn it on or anything. All you have to do is lower it down. So as we lower it down, you can see we're just rocking and rolling, but we are going 21 miles per hour. If we go across through here, this should make all this disappear, and it does. It is cultivating this field at 21 miles per hour. DJ, can you use this with a worker? No, I don't think so. <laughs> nope, uh, no worker can be hired with this, unfortunately. Uh, that may also be an issue. I will contact the mod creator and let them know. However, when you go with this fast, do you even want to do that? I mean, come on, this is super, super cool. I'm loving this so much already, but that's not all. This mod also has a special feature because it works with the next mod that we're gonna talk about. And our third and final mod that we're gonna talk about today is an update to the John Deere 2410 Plow by JA Modding. Of course, plows use these all kinds of stuff. You're watching Miss Silly P. He used this on Eureka Farms earlier today. This is gonna cost you $55,000, like normal 200 horsepower required, very low, 12 meter working width, which is great. And we have a change log, 1.1, optional hitch and fork and they've added fixes in the crazy wheel animation so those are all good there yo let's jump in the store and check this out so here we are the john deere 2410 plow got 200 horsepower 12 meter working with nine miles per hour so nice short sweet to the point and we've got some attachers so we have a standard attacher we have configuration number one which is just going to add the drawbar on the back we also have configuration fork now what this is going to do is just going to add some extra little stuff in the back and then we can add that there as well so you can add the hitch to that this is the version that we are currently using in game so speaking of let's jump in here and let's get to work we've got everything set up ready to go for us let's turn all of our windows on and let's get this stuff hooked up so first we need to get the plow now again i'm going to use the same tractor because this combination only requires like 278 horsepower. This tractor has 300 horsepower, should be able to do this no problem whatsoever. So we'll roll that up, there we go. Also, I have just talked to uh, the mod creators, Farm Central Soul of the bank, and they are working on the helper right now. So that will be fixed by the time that you guys use this stuff. So let's get everybody unfolded. Oh yeah. How's about that? You've almost got the same animation time on these as well, which is very nice. Let's uh, let's see if we can, oh yeah, about right there. There we go. Line it up perfectly and go. So let's lower one, lower two. We are able to hire a worker here, so let's do that. Let's hire that worker, rolling through, no issues whatsoever. So it is taking the area that has been plowed also you've got a ton of dirt coming off of that i love that look a lot of that you've got the animations coming from the cultivator in the back everything <laughs> it's good man everything is good what do you guys think about this so you have plowing you have cultivating all in one we will be doing at a uh, at a future moment or future time we will be taking a look at this cultivator and this uh, plow right here and maybe 
adding some new things and seeing what we can put behind it. Because I know a lot of you guys say, well, DJ, if that plow is 12 meters and it has a hitch, could we put this on the back? And the answer would be, well, <laughs> maybe. We'll just have to find out next time. But between now and then, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you do. Enjoy the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. If you have any questions about any of these three mods, whether it be the John Deere 466 Baylor on our right, whether it be the John Deere 200 Seedbed Finisher that's behind the tractor, or rather it is the plow, the John Deere 2410 plow by JA Modding on your left hand side if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below be happy to help you guys out also check out lr mining ja mining and farm citrus soul all linked in the description below that being said hope you have a great day we will see you later peace